Hello, this is Casper, and welcome to yet another tutorial of Umbraco. Today, we should be looking at some navigation. So, let's just start up the project a minute. Test application. And just wait for it to prepare the solution, and there we go. Okay, we'll just launch it. And just wait for that, there we go. Right, there we go, here's our page. Uh, yep, we only have one page, which is the home page. Uh, if we log into the back office a minute. Oh. Ah, yeah, that's why I changed it. Uh, boom, boom, oh. There we go. Yeah, sure, I've saved my password. Okay, so now we have one home page. And this is, although we did create a master page in the uh, chapter before, or the video before, we this is actually our uh, yeah uh, as it says our home page but also our master page but in this context um I'll, I'll show you what i mean uh let's create a new uh page or oh, okay let's just go to the, let's make it super easy, e uh, easy let's go to document types and go to the home note or home document type inside structure you see this is allow root not only do we want to allow it at root, but we also want to say that a home can create a child node of type home. This could be anything you wanted. If you wanted a uh, a, a new document type of I don't know, medium links, whatever you wanted, you could just create it, populate with fields, and then have it display. But we'll just uh, have this. Or you don't even have to call this home. Just call it uh, text page, and then you can create text page in text page in text page, if you want. But we'll just uh, stick with the home page for now. So we'll save it, and remember the properties are page image body text. Uh, we, we don't have to supply it with these because we haven't set it to be required. Uh, you go in here, page image, and then you can set it to be mandatory. And you can also set up a validation with a regular expression. Uh, there's loads of we websites, so just search on Google for regular expressions if uh, you don't know anything about those. But it's basically just a long string you put in, and then this string says, okay, whatever is put into this control or this property has to be of type image or type text or type link or type email address. It all, all depends on the regular expression. And then of course there's a, a description here where you can just um, tell what this field is about. For example, page image, uh, right, this is the image that is displayed on the page. And save it. And then when we go to creating a new page or go into a, an old page, it says here the uh, the description we gave it. The reason you might want to do this is if you not only if you create a website for yourself with a lot of nodes and you forget them, but also if you're creating websites for other people and you give them this and then they think, okay, what what's this all about? What does this field do? Then there's a description for them. Anyway, we'll right click, we'll create, and we'll create a new home page under the page one now. We can call this second home page. And give it a title of second home page, and uh, yeah, site name. We don't even have to touch unless we wanted to give it a new, uh, give it a new site name. Um, let's give it a what's it called? What did I? Oh, did I delete the image last time? Okay, let's just quickly find a new image then. Image, and we'll grab this one, and uh, yeah, just save image as and uh, it's called image one two three just something just exit out of that and choose the image I think it's in down oh, downloads no, where did it put it turn for okay it is on the desktop weird desktop there we go and it's in there and then there's some more body text save and publish Okay, so that's in there. We just quick create another one, another home document type, and third page. Title is third home page. Uh, image is yeah, sure, why not? And then even 
more text. And then just save and publish. And that's it, there's nothing more in here we really want to touch or anything like that, so that should all be good. And now if we try to go to a home page, for example, properties and press here, we get to the home page, but there's nothing here except for this. So of course we want some navigation. The way we can do this is, of course, we could write some code, but luckily Umbraco has uh, some pre-built-in uh, functions or partial, view partial views, in this case, that we can use. So we go to the settings, and there's a partial view. Inside there's nothing at the moment except for the grid folder, but take no notice of that. We right-click, and then we say create. And here we give it a name. And we want this to be a navigation, and then we can choose a snippet. So a snippet could be a breadcrumb, or edit profile, or list ancestors from current page, and stuff like that, or login. What we want is the navigation. So we create the partial view, and boom. You quickly reload the node, we have a navigation partial view. What we have here is it inherits again from the umbraco.web.mvc umbraco template page, so we can use the current page and so on. What it then does, and this is again more a uh, link to SQL, it, it, call, it makes a variable called selection and then it says whatever page I'm on right now, so if, if we're for example on the, uh, on the third page, then a third page and then on this site um, yeah, not sure. Yeah, we're visible, and then it just puts that into the for each loop, and then for each item, it uh, it writes out the name. Pretty pretty simple, actually. So uh, so yeah, we'll just save it, and yeah, but the reason that it doesn't go, for example, and takes the top node and stuff like that is because we will always put this, or all this code, in uh, in the top in the topmost page, which is our first home page, and it will always link the pages from there. So that's why we don't go to any ancestor. As it also says here, this snippet displays a list of links of the pages immediately under the topmost page in the content tree. This is the home page for a standard website. It also highlights the current active page slash section in the navigation with the CSS class current. So you could style that if you wanted to. So now that's done, let's just open up Visual Studio because uh, uh, we have the intelligence to help us. Let's just quickly include those and include the project. And now we just see views and there's our partial navigation view. So let's go into the master because this is our, is our master page. We could also put it in the home page, but there's absolutely no reason to do that whatsoever. We want it in our master page. And in here, we have, of course, the main body. But let's go up here a minute and say div class is equal to container fluid. And then we want another div class, which is just equal to the container. And then in here, we just write at HTML, which is the HTML helper which is located in umbraco.web.models.rendermodel um, then we say dot uh, partial oh, if we just go back a minute, control space hover over, it says here, renders the speci specified part of view, partial view as an HTML encoded string what well, that basically just means for us, if we write it that's a function of course then we can see this, there are four overloaded methods uh, that may basically means four different ways of using this function. The first one is just to call to give a string and then partial view name, and the name was navigation. So, yeah. So just make sure they have more, you know, uh, not the same names. Otherwise, it can be a bit difficult. But should they for some reason have it, then you can also um, just send it the entire location. So let's try it f uh, first here. Just call it navigation. We save it. Go back here. Uh, oh, reload this, and you'll see. Boom! We have the second home page and the third home page. And the reason we don't have this page, this home page, is because well, it didn't. Uh, as the uh, this snippet says, it displays the list of links of the pages immediately under the most top page. Let's just say we did actually want the top page. Let's just say we that this Im image was 
all the way at the top and was the logo, for example. Then here, we could say... Uh, oh, sorry, that's not here. Uh, yeah, okay, look, we could also just make our own, uh, actually, right here, just make a new LI. Actually, let's do this in Visual Studio, it's way easier. Again, bad habit from my po uh, my perspective. Um, that is in the navigation. So from here, we have the LI, and then we, of course, do an A. Hyper reference is equal to, and let's just close it off a minute. So from here we do current page dot ancestors or self, just as I've written it, and then we write write one. The reason we do this is we say whatever page I'm on at the moment, go to its t most top node. So in our case, whatever page we're on at the moment, it could be a sub page of a third page. Then you go all the way up to the first level, which is this. This is level one. Level 2, if I create a new page now, called home for example, uh, this is the third level, let's spell it right, um, yeah, third level, save it, right, and this is the third level, so, but of course the th this third level will not or shouldn't be outputted because we're only grabbing the direct children of the home page, but again, it's quite easy to put the put up another level, and yeah, so that has been written now. Uh, Come paste ancestors dot uh, ancestors or self one and then dot. Uh, I think it's dot first or default. Let's just grab this a minute. Take it out. For example, here we do var. Um, Let's just put that in some code. Bar home page, and then is equal to, and then current page dot ancestors self one dot first or default. And basically, what that means, as I said, current page whatever page one, get the ancestors or self, and then dot first or default is well, just find, just give us the first one you find, or otherwise revert to default. And what default is, I'm not actually sure. You could also just write dot first. And for those of you who have never used link to SQL, this will be very weird. But uh, again, because current page is a dynamic node, as it says here, dynamic, then you don't get any intelligence of writing it. But what you can do is, if, if you're not happy using current page, you can actually do, uh, if you're inher inheriting from a bracket template page, you can write model dot content. And then you can see you have ancestor, ancestors or self. This works fine as well, but I do like to use current page. But you can always just look here and refresh if you want. So the ancestors or self one and then dot first or default. And see here first, which is the first element in a sequence that satisfies a specific condition. And first or default returns the first element of uh, the sequence that certifies a condition or a default value if no such element is found. Again, what default is, I'm not quite sure, but I'd rather have a default value than nothing. So just finish that off. Then in here, we can write uh, the home page, which is the page we are on right now. Then we can say dot URL, and that's a uh, yeah something we can call. And then also in here. We say home page dot name, which is also another property we can call. So we have URL, writer name, URL name, name, and creator name, all under a name. We can also insert, of course, we could write the home page dot ID or whatever we want, but uh, right now we just want the name. And that's actually, oh, so there we go. That's actually enough to satisfy what we need. So if we go back a minute, reload. And we'll just wait. Yep, you can see our home page has been added. So yeah, now we can navigate through our pages. Second page, boom, this stays of course. Third page, even more text. And uh, yeah, everything looks good. Of course the styling's horrific, but this just to show you something. And um, yeah, so that's navigation. Very easy as you can see. And uh, yeah. So uh, yep, uh, yep, that was it. Just close it down a minute. 
Um, so yeah, again, thanks for watching. Uh, I had a bit of extra time today, so I thought I'd put up, up another tutorial. I uh, hope you guys like it, and of course, as always, if you have any comments you'd like for me to, or anything specific you'd like for me to show, any problems you have I might be able to help with, or anything you think I sh could do better in my tutorials, please feel free to leave a comment uh, and a like, and also subscribe if you're actually learning from this. If not, then, well, yeah, I guess don't bother uh, to watch anymore. Have a nice evening.